everybody, I'm Steve Piacenza, and welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. This is a 99 cent store pizza pan. And usually you'd create your own pie on top of this. Pepperoni, sausage, cheese, sauce, golden crust. But not today, because Kathy's gonna show you how to create a holiday wreath using the 99 cent store pizza pan. So Kath, take it away. Hey you guys, welcome back. Steve, you are making me hungry with all that talk about pizza. And Steve is right, we are making these really fun wreaths today using pizza pans from the dollar store. And you can see how much detail, I did this monogram one for us, but there's so many different designs you can do. I've got this great one here. Now this one isn't made with a pizza pan, but it's made with another type of tray from the dollar store. Just a plain clear tray, just like that. And this one here, I love this one, a pack shape this is done with a clear plastic tray also look how cute that would look on your door or you could do a round one like this on your door and again that is just a clear tray like that one of the things that I love about these is that these are so lightweight and with that big flat surface it's a really fun place where you can customize these with your family name or a holiday saying for all these projects today I'm using matte Mod Podge and scrapbook paper and all sorts of fun embellishments I'm gonna do this little this uh, video a little bit differently today in that I uh, went ahead and recorded start to finish of how I made the wreath. So I'll be answering questions live. Please drop a note and let us know where you're from. We'd love to hear where you're from and I'll be uh, answering any questions that you have. So the first project I'm gonna show you is our monogram wreath. And I'm using a pizza pan from the dollar store, some folk art home decor chalk, and a loose bristle brush. I'm going to paint the edge with just sort of a distressed look. I'm not real worried about it being perfect. I want to get some of those colors of the pizza pan popping through. And then on the base of the pan, I'm just giving it a quick coat of the chalk just to act as a primer. That will help with our napkin and our paper adhering. I'm using Mod Podge in matte for this project. I've got a napkin that we're gonna be using and some scrapbook paper that I've cut into a wreath shape. For the napkin, I'm just using the single printed ply. I've removed the other plies. And you can see how I use my hands just to mark that round shape of the pizza pan. That's just a little cutting line. It's a really quick way to get that cutting guideline. So you'll trim away the napkin that you're not gonna be using and just go ahead and get that cleaned up. Once you have your napkin cut to shape, you are ready to start your Mod Podging. So I'm gonna apply matte Mod Podge all over the base of our pizza pan. It's just a nice thin coat, and then I'll just position the napkin right onto it. And you have a little bit of room to wiggle around and move it, but not too much. I'm actually working very gently so I don't tear the napkin. Then you're gonna set this aside and let it dry once it's all ready. I let this dry about 20 minutes before I move on to the next step. So now I'm applying the Mod Podge to the back of my paper cutout. This was a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that featured a wreath in the center. So it was perfect for this project. You wanna make sure you get the Mod Podge on all the edges. Then I just center it up. And then with my hands, I press it into place. And I'm gonna let this dry about 20 minutes before I move on to the next step of top coating. By waiting a little bit, it helps reduce bubbles and just gives everything a little bit of a time to settle in. Now for that quick top coat. I'm gonna be doing another top coat after I apply our monogram. So for the monogram, I went ahead and I cut an F out of some scrapbook paper, and I'm just again applying that Mod Podge to the back of the monogram. I'm positioning it a little bit higher than in the center because I'm gonna have all of our decorative elements at the bottom and I don't wanna hide our monogram. So then I'm gonna to top coat the whole entire thing. 
with nice even brush strokes going all the way around. Once it's dry, I'm gonna add my glitter. So I've added a little bit of Mod Podge to a squeezy bottle and I'm just gonna squeeze right around that edge. That's gonna create like a snowy effect edge. It's just another little added detail and if you didn't cut your paper perfect, this is a great, great way to hide any of those little cutting mistakes. I'm using a glitter that is a clear and white mixture. So I'm just sprinkling it on there and once it's dry, I'll tap off all the extra. All right, now we're ready for the fun stuff, the decorating. So at this point, I'm just gluing with my hot glue gun all sorts of embellishments. I've got my finger cap protector there, so I'm not burning my hands. And you can just layer up and layer up any embellishments or picks that you have. Once you're happy with your design, you are ready to add a hanger to the back of it. And that's super easy to do. You're just gonna add a little ribbon strip there. I like to add some little paper discs just to finish it off. And now we're ready to hang on our front door. Next is our poinsettia wreath. For this, I'm using a plastic tray from the dollar store that I've primed with our folk art chalk. And I'm using some napkins that feature a corner print. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out those poinsettias from the corner. And again, I'm only using the top printed layer. That's very important with nap napkin decoupage. So I'm going around the edge with our napkins. I like to do it evenly, kind of like you would do a clock. So I start at one edge and then I work my way over to the other until the whole thing is filled in. Just apply the Mod Podge directly onto the tray and there you go. Put your napkin down and just smooth it with your fingers and then keep adding napkins until the whole thing is covered. I'm trimming away the edges and I'm using those little edges to fill in any little places where we might have holes. Once it's all layered up, you won't even notice it. I'm gonna add some glitter to this too. I wanna create a snowy scene in the back there. So I'm just hand brushing on Mod Podge all to that center, kind of working around the leaves and the petals of the poinsettias. If you go over a little bit, it's no big deal. I just wanted to have a really nice, pretty snowy center. So I'm adding that same glitter that I used before. And once it's dried, I tapped off all the excess and look how pretty that sparkles. Then I loaded it up with all sorts of embellishments. This is going to look great on our door. For the gift, I did a different technique. This is a fun tip. I'm going to show you how I do the spray bottle. Um, if you're concerned about wrinkles on your napkins, just give it a mist with some water and then put it into position. It uh, definitely, definitely helps with wrinkles. And for the gift, we're gonna have more of the napkin actually showing in a larger piece. So anytime I'm doing a larger one, I definitely always spray my napkin first. And my napkin wasn't big enough, so I'm gonna be piecing it together and I'm hiding up where we did our piece with our ribbon. So remember, if your napkin isn't quite the size you need it to be, you can always add them in pieces and use embellishments and things like that to cover up any seams that you may have. Thanks you guys so much for joining us today. I hope that this project has inspired you to think about some of those dollar store items that you can turn into some festive holiday decor. And make sure that you tag Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so everybody can see what you're making with your projects. We can't wait to see you next week. We'll be back here with another Make It With Mod Podge. Have a great holiday.